Are you relatively new to the world of photography and perhaps you're shooting with an entry-level DSLR or any DSLR for that matter, like this one right here, the Nikon D3400, and you're trying to pose your subject but you're not sure how to do it? Stay tuned, this video is for you. I'm often asked what's the best way to pose a subject for some great portrait photography. Now, as you might guess, this is very subjective and I thought I'd take a few moments and give you my opinion on it and I do have a subject with me and we'll step through some various poses that help to make that portrait look just that much better. Now regardless of the camera that you're using, it really doesn't matter. What we're focusing on with this particular video is how to set up and pose your subject, so keep that in mind. Now today I have a couple of cameras with me, and this is a camera that I've done a lot of videos with. This is just an entry-level Nikon, the D3400 model. It's a great crop sensor camera. I also have the Nikon D600 with me, and I have various lenses. So again, regardless of the camera and the lens combination I'm going to use, what I really want you to take away from this is just how to work with the subject to get them to pose in the right manner to really try and capture those awesome photos. So with that said, let's go ahead and step right into it. I've got my subject out here, and we're in this open area, and we have the sun behind us. Now, some photographers might think that, hey, let's put the subject out there in the sun and let the sun hit them right in the face. But the reason to not do that is because it causes your subject to squint and it can also create shadows, also known as raccoon eyes, and that's not always the best. Now, you can put the subject in the sun, but have them face away from it so that the shadow falls off their face. It's really a photographer's preference. So what I've done right here is we're actually in a shaded area and again, the sun is behind us. Now, I have her about four, uh, maybe six, seven feet from the background. So we've got some distance and some separation in there. Now I have my fixed 50 lens on this camera and I'm gonna do two shots. One is going to be just a headshot. So it's really from about the mid chest up and then I'm gonna do from the waist up, okay? So what we wanna do here is have your subject, if you're standing straight and they're just standing looking right at you, one option is this, have them face 45 degrees to either their right or their left and have them look over the opposite shoulder. So in this case, she's gonna be facing 45 degrees to her right, she's gonna be looking over her left shoulder, looking back at me, smiling, and you can say, smile with teeth or no teeth. So in this case, I'm gonna have her no teeth and we're gonna go ahead and snap a shot or two and see what this looks like. Now with her hands and her hips and how all this works, this will only come into play if we're doing that shot that is from the waist up. So right now we're just gonna do a head shot so it doesn't really matter what's going on with the hands and the arms at this point. So let me go ahead and just take a shot and we'll see what it looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and do another shot from the waist up and I'm going to want her to take her hands and in this particular case right here we're just going to wrap them around her body. So her left hand is coming around and her right hand is just resting on top of the left just like this right here. And it's going to make for a nice shot. Again she's standing at about a 45 degree angle and it gives her hands sort of a natural position. So with that said let's go ahead and take another shot. We moved to a new location and we found this little picnic bench here and we're going to make use of this. So what we've done is I have our model sitting on top of the bench and you can kind of see behind her there's this big sort of pine tree, it's nothing special, and then we have some tall grasses. Now we also have this utility stick sitting up here and we're going to keep that out of the frame of the image. But what we're going to do is the sun is directly this way, so she's going to be looking off this way more towards the camera to keep the squint, uh, keep her from squinting and the sun out of her eyes. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and have her raise her right leg. She's going to bend it, okay? And in this situation, to make her hands look a little more natural, you can have them lean back like she is right there or do what she's doing right here with her hands over her right knee. Now this is a great looking pose and there's two shots we can get with this. 
One will be just from about the mid leg down and we'll grab her hands and the knee and her head obviously. And then we can do another pose where we can get the full body. So it's really up to you as a photographer as to what you wanna get with it. But with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and let's just take a couple of shots and see what these look like. We're back into the woods and we came across this man-made object, which is just this nice bridge coming over this creek. Now the creek's relatively dry, but anytime I'm out and about and I see man-made objects or just natural objects, I like to take advantage of them if I can. So in this case, I'll take the model and I'm gonna have her lean up against the rail right here. And we have the sun where it's just kind of falling off her hair and her face and her shoulders. And this is gonna make for a decent photo. So. With this, we're gonna go ahead and just have her put her hands right in front of her, leaning up against the fence, and we're gonna have her look straight ahead for this natural kind of impromptu pose. Let's go ahead and take a couple of shots here. We came across this fence, which is really sitting in the middle of nowhere. We just have a couple of posts and a couple of horizontal bars here. So I'm gonna have my model just kind of lean up against like she's doing right here. Her arms are by her side and she's gonna face back at me. Now, we can do a lot of different shots here. So we're probably gonna do that right now and just have some fun with it. But the sun is facing this direction. So she's facing away from it. Now we can take our shot from over here, facing back at her. We can also be back this way and shoot from that direction. And so I'm gonna take just um, four or five different shots here and we'll see what they look like. We found a nice shady spot here and this is a classic pose. So this is something that you can always do with your subjects if you find just an open ground like this, just have them sit. And in this case, she's got her left leg bent and up against the underneath of her right leg. So her right leg's up, the hands are in front, and I'm gonna be, again, about 45 degrees from her. So she's facing this way. I'm gonna be over here, and I'm gonna have her look back at me with the smile, and we're gonna take this picture. Now, one thing I want you to note is that, again, we're in the shade and behind us, you can see we have the sun that's lighting up our background and we have some trees and some grass and um, you know whatnot behind us. It's gonna make for a nice image. So we'll go ahead and grab a couple of these shots and see what they look like. This is another classic pose. You can take your model, you can have them lay down, just like we, we have her doing right here. And you want her with her legs up behind her, bend at the knee, and have her legs crossed. And this will make for a really nice image. And if you're able to get like a fixed 50 or a fixed 35, or any lens really where you can dial that aperture way down, you'll get some nice bokeh where the feet and the legs behind her will be blurred out and it'll make for a great photo. So let's go ahead and I'll take a couple of these shots and see what they look like. Anytime you can find something like a tree, a big tree perhaps, this isn't the biggest one, but it'll do for our demonstration, or perhaps a fence, you can have your subject lean with their back up against that object and they can place one leg and it doesn't really matter which one, but they can bend it at the knee and put the bottom of their foot against that wall or the fence or the tree and then have them look over their shoulder at you. And it's really up to you as to what type of shot you want. You can do a head shot, a waist up or a full body shot. Let's go ahead and demo a few of those right now. I hope
hope some of the poses that I've shown helps to fuel some creativity with your own portrait photography. The ultimate goal is to try to capture your subject in a natural state. And when you tell them you're going to take a picture of them, more often than not, they're a little confused about how to look and what to do with their hands and their arms and their head and how they should tilt. And it makes for a slightly awkward situation. The more information you have and the more ideas that you have, the better off everyone will be. So you can offer some of those ideas to your subject and more often than not, they'll listen and you'll come away with some great portraits. Now don't be afraid to get creative and sometimes it might feel a little awkward for the subject to place their head in their hand, for example, or whatever you might come up with. But it's okay, let your subject know this might be a little awkward, it might feel a little strange, but the resulting image will be great. Or at least you hope it will, right? But that's what this is all about. Get creative, have some fun with it. Hope this video has helped you out, and if it has, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. It's called Real World. More often than not, I post videos about photography and technology, but you never know. So until the next video, take care of yourself and be safe.